glory to God. Well, I'll tell you something. I am excited in the Lord today. Um, I've just been encouraging myself in the Lord, listening to the Word. And I was listening to Malcolm this morning. Praise God. And uh, oh my goodness, I'll tell you something. I know that there are those in the church that doesn't believe that God intervenes in the affairs of men in government and all that, but I do. And I just want to say that the uh, big tech uh, media, all of those that have been lying to us for the last four years um, are still lying, and I don't want you to believe it. I want you to believe the report of the Lord. Amen. And I just want you to know that this thing is not over. And I stand. I stand for freedom and religious right and uh, the protection of the unborn. I stand for that. And I will not acquiesce. I will not lay down and roll over and say, oh, well, I guess we lost. No, this is not over. That's right. And I believe that we will see the victory. But I will tell you this, no matter what happens, I belong to a kingdom that will never end. Amen. I belong to a kingdom that will never end. And the Lord Jesus Christ is King and He will reign forever. But we belong here in the United States to a nation that we have freedom and those freedoms are being threatened. Even our freedom of speech is being censored. You can't say anything uh, against what's going on. There's a blackout. There's a blackout on the media. Natisha, can you hear me, sweetheart? Because I don't know if my microphone is working. Can you give me a yes? Thank you, Jesus. Natisha, can you let me know if you can hear me? Praise God, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I've got a new phone and uh, I'm having problem with my sound. Oh, well, praise God. Oh, glory to God. Okay, so I want you to know that for the past four years there's been an onslaught against our president okay um just total per persecution one thing after another after another without any evidence and yet when there's evidence of corruption the media blacks it out and calls it fake news i want you to know that big tech the media the whole left wing wants to take down this president okay and what's going on is a disgrace and you know what you're not even hearing about it because they black it out you know the what's going on when you go to sites that are showing you the truth that are not censoring the voice of the American people you can see there is giant fraud going on but you don't hear this in mainstream media. They want you to believe the lie that it's all over. Whose report are you going to believe? Let me tell you something. When the, the 12 spies went into the land of Canaan, two came out with a good report. But what did the people do? They listened to the evil report. I don't want you to listen to the evil report. I don't want you to believe this is over and just lay down and suck it up. No, I want you to stand and believe God for a victory. Amen. Because a victory for this country is a victory for the world. Why do you think that all of the oppressed nations have caravans for President Trump? Because they know that freedom for the United States means freedom for them. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know something? I was listening to a prophet and he, and he showed on the day of the election, the Chinese yen went straight down because they knew President Trump won. There is so much fraud 
going on and I believe I, I declare it that it will be revealed yes, amen. amen and I want you to take hope I want you to take courage but no matter what our hope is in the Lord yes. we belong to a kingdom that will never fail but you know what we're the salt of the earth you know we are the salt of the earth we're the preservative amen and if we won't stand behind our president that is for the unborn that is for religious freedom that is for freedom uh, of speech then what kind of preservative are we well I'm not about to just hand it over freely to uh, the liberal left that wants to take away all of our freedoms amen I will continue to stand and believe God yeah. Amen. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Yes, yes, yes. I will not believe the... Why should we believe the report of the enemy? The report of those that have been lying to us for four years. They will not report the truth. But just report what the left wants you to hear. Don't drink the Kool-Aid, man. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Believe God. I believe that President Trump is going to win this election. I believe that. I don't care what they're saying. I believe that God is going to reveal the truth. Amen. Amen. Stand. Stand. Yes. And believe God. Amen. Amen. You know, I was listening to um, somebody this morning about Goliath. You know, when Goliath came against the armies of Israel and they were just they were just terrified they were frozen they were just they were just no good for nothing and he slandered them and they sat there day after day listening to his lies him saying that they were weak that they were nothing and little old David comes up on the scene and he was he was a boy that believed God and he said, who are you, you uncircumcised Philistine, you, that you will speak against the nation of Israel? He says, I'm going to cut off your head and give it to the birds of the air. Amen. He was a boy that believed God. Amen. He believed that God was on his side. Thank God for David. Thank God for the Davids of the world that won't lay down and just drink the Kool-Aid and accept what's been being fed through this media. I mean, come on, guys. It's time for the church to wake up. I mean, can't you see anything that is spoken in truth against what's happening is taken down off of YouTube, taken down off of Twitter, taken down off of Facebook, and yet they let the liberal left spew the hatred and, and lies against what's going on. They're all in it together. Don't yes. believe the lie. Our God is bigger yes, yes. than the enemy. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. I, you know, oh, I know there are those that are being told, you know, he lost, just accept it and let's go on. No, don't accept it. Do you remember, do you remember in 2000, the hanging Chad, the pregnant Chad, and they all said the Gore won, but it went to the Supreme Court. And I'm telling you what, this is going to go to the Supreme Court. And all of the chicanery that's going on is going to be revealed. I believe it. My goodness. The, the, the vote counting machines that are being used, they're all, they're all fixed. And now they found out that these machines that were used in Michigan, just one county, saw a glitch and did a hand count and there were 6,000 votes that flipped to Biden that were Trump's. And there's 47 counties that have used this machinery. And now we find 28 states use the same thing. Oh my goodness, this is a fraud that is being tried to be perpetrated on this nation. And I'm telling you what, if you love your freedom, 
if you love the freedom for the, the, the unborn child to be able to live, if you want freedom of speech, if you want to see the freedom that is in this nation spread abroad to the nations of the world, stand up. And yes. believe God, that God is bigger than this great big machine of the enemy. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. And you know, I just said this morning, I said, I know a lot of people ain't going to like what I say. But you know something? I don't care. I got to say what's in my heart. Amen. And you know what? If people are just lulled to sleep and they just think, well, you know what? It's just over. I don't want them to believe that. Amen. Stand up. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Yes, yes. You know, I was listening to Malcolm this morning and he was talking about David when David and his men went out to fight uh, in from Ziklag and left all of the women and children at home. And he came home and he finds that the city's been burned and they've taken all of the women and children. And they wanted to stone David. Amen. And David, I mean, they cried and they cried and they cried. And David encouraged himself in the Lord. And guess what? David went after them. And he took back everything that was taken from him. Amen. I'm telling you what. What the enemy has tried to steal, God He's going to give it back to us. I believe that with all my heart. Amen. Well, listen, be encouraged in the Lord and turn off that fake news, that mainstream media. Go to places where you will hear the truth. I'll tell you, I just uh, joined Parler, which is unbiased. Anybody can speak on there and you're hearing what's going on. I'm telling you, it's encouraging when you hear of all the people that are coming forward, signing affidavits that are saying they have witnessed voter fraud. They have witnessed truckloads of ballots being brought in after the polls closed. All kinds of things are going on throughout this whole nation. It's huge. And I believe when it all, the dust all settles, we are going to see a giant red wave. Amen. Amen. And that's what's in my heart. Yes. So too. God bless you yes. and have an awesome day.